Hello, everybody. <clears throat> I received a phone call this morning, and uh, I knew something was bad. Somebody had died, and it was my friend, my friend Rush Limbaugh. A lot of people don't understand <clears throat> when I tell them Rush Limbaugh was my friend. They go, how could Rush Limbaugh be your friend if you never talked to him? Well, I did. I had the good fortune of talking to him on the radio. But a lot of people don't understand when Rush Limbaugh would say that he has a certain connection with his audience. The rock band, The Police, sang a song that says, We're spirits. We're spirits living in a material world. Winston Churchill talked about a, there comes a point, and not in everyone's life, but in certain men's life, when men realize that they're not flesh, that they're spirits, they're spirit beings. When great causes are on the move in the world, stirring all men's souls, drawing them from their firesides, casting aside comfort, wealth, and the pursuit of happiness in response to impulses at once all striking and irresistible. We learn that we are spirits, not animals. Winston Churchill. And that was the connection Rush Limbaugh was trying to convey. But fleshly people and people of the flesh and people that don't believe in the spirit don't understand it. They go, Gilbert, how is it that you can, you can say that he was your friend? <clears throat> well, I told Alan Keyes one time when I was talking to Alan Keyes and I went off the air with him and we had a little private conversation. I says, Alan, I go, Jesus says that life is everlasting. So if that's true and life is everlasting, it's just a matter of time before I get to sit down and break bread with Alan Keyes or Rush Limbaugh. You see, we're brothers in Christ. And a lot of people don't understand what it means to be a son of God. But when you're a son of God, well, you don't need a church. You don't need, you don't need anything. It's just you and God. You and Jesus. Nobody else. There's no middleman. There's no nothing. And you know who your brother is. You say, that's my brother. Rush Limbaugh is my brother in Christ Jesus. And we had a special connection and a special bond. And he talked about it on the radio. He goes, I have a special bond. And he, and he couldn't explain it. Well, I'm telling you what it is. Is Rush Limbaugh was telling you that he's a spirit living in a material world. And he's connected to his brothers and sisters all over, all over the world. Who also know that they're spirits. And they also know that they're children of God. And we belong to the same family. So the rock band, the police, was right. We are spirits living in a material world. And Rush Limbaugh was my friend. And I would argue with him all the time. And I would yell at him in the radio, in the car. Because he was my brother. And a lot of you don't understand that. And you can't, I can't, I, I'm trying to explain it to you. But a lot of you will never understand it. Because Jesus talked about it. There's a difference between the flesh and the spirit. And if you are not of the spirit, if you are not born again, if you are not of the spirit, you just don't understand. You just don't understand. But those of you that are of the spirit, you, now you, you, you understand why your relationship with Rush Limbaugh was so special. And why people don't understand why you're crying. People don't understand why you call him your friend because they, they don't understand the spirit. So again, Rush Limbaugh, it's just a matter of time. Everything in life is just a matter of time. Everything in the universe, in the great cosmos, is just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time before we're with Rush Limbaugh eating or drinking or having a conversation and breaking bread. Everything in life is just a matter of time. Let the word go forth from this time and place to friend and foe alike that the torch has been passed to a new generation of Americans born in this century, tempered by war, disciplined by a hard and bitter peace, proud of our ancient heritage, and unwilling to witness or permit the slow undoing of those human rights 
to which this nation has always been committed and to which we are committed today at home and around the world. 